because I spent a lot of time with the Metro in the, in the loser lane, the slow lane. Loser with the, lane. With the trucks and the lorries and the horses <laughs> and the old people. Um, <laughs> and the only way you could feel better about having such a terrible car is you would occasionally try and overtake nicer cars on the motorway. It's quite a, a manly moment. You're sitting there chugging along at 60, which you're quite comfortable. You'll see like a Porsche in the middle lane. I'd say to my wife, you see that Porsche over there? She's like, yes, what of it? I'm having it. <laughs> I was like, you can't, the princess couldn't overtake that Porsche. It's a 1.0. I can do this. <laughs> and you sort of pull into the middle lane, you start to get excited, then you get into the fast lane. When you're in the fast lane, in a terrible car, you immediately know you don't belong. Big Range Rovers right up behind you, flashing. Retreat to the loser lane where you belong. <laughs> there are horses in the slow lane going, I've got to see this, what's going on? <laughs> I think the top speed was about 76. Um, and you put your foot down and the whole car would just shake uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> and you so, edge up. It takes somewhere between 40 to 45 minutes just to pull alongside the Porsche. My wife's going, I told you! <laughs> and you always have to look over. You always have to look over when you're overtaking to see your victim. Who are you, Porsche? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.